About a week ago, this meme began to surface, no pun intended, and it is a really cool possible theory and possible reality. I mean, they put these obelisks in our faces everywhere. So if you haven't seen this, I'll show you the full thing and zoom out, but it's envisioning that the tops of the pyramids that we see are actually just the tops of giant obelisks underneath. There's no way of telling how deep they go underneath us, who built them, why, and even if this is a real possibility, this theory could be total baloney. But it is a cool, awesome idea and a creative, imaginative idea to envision the hollow earth. And, you know, maybe even these are pillars holding up that part of the realm in this next kind of layer of our structure of earth. Because a lot of the Jains and other ancient cultures have seen the world as layers. You go up. I kind of think that above the ferment, it just gets cold, ice, and then boom, there's another layer, ice, and then it goes up and up, and then just a whole nother thing. Who knows? Like a freaking giant sandwich. But either way, that is the full image, and so I had to draw it. I had to draw my own impression of it, because someone said the, the image was copyright, so ha, <laughs> this is a way of getting around it, and also a way of exploring the thought and the concept and a lot more too i added the whole possibility of airships uh, dumping sand and dumping dirt and filling this the, I, I tried to add the filling process and also as you go down you can see that these continue to go below and also they're kind of in and around a reservoir of water which i thought was kind of interesting since a lot of the electricity and different power theories all revolve around there being some kind of conductor of water below so in this vision, I kind of did a little more than just a Photoshop thing. That's, you know, that's one way in one area where AI and computer generated stuff just can't, can't do what a human can do and can't add certain things in there. And you can prompt it to, but it's, it's different. You know, they can't slide little secrets in like I occasionally do. But here it is, the airships dumping stuff, the boats taking things out, the pyramids, three different ones in three different stages, one preserved on the left, one half being taken down, the covering, the white shielding, the whatever protective coating it had all being taken down, stripped from the first one as it gets buried, artifacts being excavated out, that bottom one looks like they blasted a hole in it, and uh, the camel is just basically looking at it, but they blasted a hole, they took all the artifacts out, they loaded them onto the boats, take them to the Smithsonian, take them to the Vatican. Meanwhile, underneath, a whole nother system occurs. Almost like these are, uh, like this is like a maintenance <laughs> zone or something for these, uh, for these structures, or that there's down here, this is like the underground of the, um, you know, how a, a stadium works, like the underworkings of a certain massive, uh, construction or massive project and I put water down there kind of like there's an ocean because underneath us there's so much water and I'm not sure how it's spaced out but there are must be pools of it oceans of it all over the place a book called Eddie Dorpa describes some pretty cool versions of that but either way you know are these the pillars holding up our realm are they something different either way even if this vision is completely wrong what is beneath the pyramids how deep does it go how deep do the chambers go what's the purpose what's the overall structure we find so many buildings where there are pictures when you go deep in this you just see it. just the buildings continue so many just destroyed buildings that look like rock formations look natural we've been taught are natural but they're not Nothing is natural. Everything, I think, was created at one point by the architects, the creators, the art masters of this world and this realm and way beyond this realm, this whole construction. I think someone had to do it. So I like this theory. Whether it's real or not, it's fun to explore. Art allows me to do that. It gives me a chance to you know, really think about something for several days, really think about all the perspectives around it, all the ramifications. I even have the Tower of Babel in the distance hanging out back there because who knows what time this took place. This could have been at any point in time, any point in our history, this reset, right before they started taking the pictures. And even while they were taking the pictures, they were just staging certain ones. But who knows how long the reset was. A thousand years, uh, two thousand years, they can change numbers, they can do everything, they can manipulate anything so easily. How do we know anything unless we dig? It's the only chance we have of discovery is to dig. If we can meet people down there, find something down there, find remnants of fact and ancient books and stories and something, artifacts, antiquitech, 
we will be able to push this story and the truth and reality of it all a little further. So we must keep digging. No matter what, we must keep digging. And whenever we find things of historical human history, real history, importance, we must tell about them. We must make them public. We must make the public see them. We must rewrite history accordingly. If we were to go down there and find giants, we couldn't hide them. We couldn't turn them into a joke. We'd have to take them in and factor them into our history and completely rewrite it. We are due for a rewrite to escape and edit out all of the nonsense, propaganda, mind control that's been dumped in there. We need to get back to reality so that we can find our true divine purpose and we can know who created this realm and we can thank them for it. And maybe they can come back and help us cleanse it again. Who knows? what is going on. I don't, but I like to theorize about it. Art is my method. So I hope you enjoyed this. Bless you all.